Hey everybody, Sharon Smith here. And I wanted to pop in today and do another video in my series on tapping with your pets and for your pets. And to talk to you about why your pet may be experiencing whatever's going on with them. Now, I've talked about this in my human-based tapping videos <laughs> because relationships are the ways that we experience ourselves and the way we learn in our lives. And our relationships with our pets are equally important. They're very important. So I, I got to tell you what prompted this. And I had a, on one of my YouTube tapping videos for pets, a nice woman had left me this really long comment. And I read all of these. So if you want to talk to me or leave me a comment, that's a good place to do it. And she was talking about her cat had all this constipation problem and she spent all this money with vets and just this long thing. And a nice woman, and I'm reading through this and, and just checking in with the energy of the situation. And then I started laughing. I'm like, okay, well, I can clearly see, I could very clearly see that this had to do with her being stuck or stagnant in some area of her life. And so when you write to me and you say, will this help, okay, will tapping help my dog with such and such or my cat with this? The answer is almost always yes, but I tell you the only way you're gonna know is if you try it. Asking me, sure, all I can do is say, yeah, I think so, but you have to try it. Now, I responded to this woman and I said, okay, Yes, I believe tapping can help your cat. You need to try it. Here's the video. I've got a couple of them out. But I also said you need to look at this as a reflection because I think the cat's trying to get your attention. And are you potentially, I'm not sure that I wrote all this, but enough that she got the gist of it. I said, are you potentially feeling stagnant or stuck in some area of your own life? And the answer that she wrote back was, oh, yeah, I definitely am. And I said, okay, so you want to work with that for you in addition to tapping with your cat. You want to do both because animals are here to guide us, help us, and to teach us. They're here to teach us unconditional love. And a lot of the time, uh, a behavior issue or a recurring thing like the constipation, they're trying to get our attention. Now, I actually have experienced this on and off. I had a cat that refused to use the litter box, just out of the blue, and it was trying to push me toward working with an area of my life that I really didn't want to mess with, didn't want to look at it. And, of course, once I started to work with that and look at it and see it clearly, the issue resolved. And it, because I'm stubborn, just like probably most of you, I fell back into my old pattern and all of a sudden, cat's not using the litter box again. Okay, I get it. I understand what's going on. And again, I could work and resolve the issue. Now I'm gonna tap for the cats with the cat, but I'm also gonna do my own work because that's what they're trying to push us to do. So I want you to, we're gonna do a minute of this. I want you to actually get quiet for just a minute here with me and close your eyes and take a big breath into your nose and hold it and blow it out. Good. Now just relax your shoulders. And now I want you to go tune in to your pet. You need to do this one at a time. If you have several, just do it once for each of them. And if this pet is having a health issue or a behavior issue, I want you to just tune into that. Tune into the energy of that. And really connect with your pet. It doesn't matter what kind of animal it is. It can be a cat dog, bird, whatever.
Now I want you to see the connection between you as a real tangible thing and give it a color or a shape. First thing that comes to mind will be appropriate for you. And now we're going to use that connection to ask some questions and be open to receiving some answers. So I want you to first ask your pet if this is happening to guide you towards something else in your own life. And you're probably just going to get a yes or a no. If it's a no, stay with me. But if it's a yes, I want you, because animals tend to speak in, uh, in pictures, I want you to ask it to show you a picture of where it is that you need to work, what needs to happen for you. No matter how it looks, this is going to be appropriate for you. Okay. Now ask your pet if it would like you to do some tapping to help it. And you may see the connection uh, get brighter. You may have a yes or a no. But let them guide you. You're probably going to get a yes. Good. Okay, now I want you to say thank you for the connection. And remember that you can come back here anytime you want and reestablish this. Your pet does not have to even be in the same room or the same house as you. Energy doesn't have limits. Now I want you to see that connection and just tell your pet you love him or her. And I want you to also say that you love yourself and that you agree to work with what he or she just showed you. Good. Okay. Now I want you to take another big breath in through your nose and blow it out through your mouth and open your eyes. You did great. Now, the more we learn to connect with our animals, the easier this will be. It, it gets easier. And some of you may be going, well, I didn't get a lot of information. Go in and do this again. It is a tool, it's a technique, but it requires practice and you'll get better at it. So feel free to come back and do this as many times as you need. Now, a lot of you have already gotten the information that you needed from this just one time out. So remember, you agreed to this. You want to tap for your animal, and you also agreed to tap for whatever it is you have going on because they want us to have better lives. They want us to be better and to feel better and to do better. And they're willing to go to a lot of trouble to tell us this, to get our attention in the same way that pain in our body is getting our attention. So, thank you for watching today. Again, this is just more in my series of tapping for animals, even though we didn't tap today. Go back and look at my other videos that have to do with this. I think you'll find them useful. Now, I'd like you to do a couple of things for me, if you would. Before you go, I'd like you to like and subscribe here. If you subscribe to me on YouTube, a cool thing happens. YouTube will tell you anytime I've got a new video, 
which you may want. It's a good thing. The other thing that happens is that that fits in really well with YouTube's algorithm. The more subscribers I have, the more they are going to show off my work to people who may never have seen it before. That means the fact that you took a second to subscribe could cause somebody to get the help that they needed that day from one of my videos. And I think that's pretty cool. Now, I also want you to subscribe and get my free gift. Now below this video it says show more. Click there. The link to my free gift is there. This is a good guided visualization and a good tapping tutorial. You're going to get two videos. It's a cool thing. It's something you want. I have lots of stuff there. I've also got the link to my new Facebook group. I'm working in there every week live and I would love to do some live work with you. So lots of cool things for you. I, I always try to do new, fun, wonderful things for you. I like doing that. So again, I'm Sharon Smith. I look forward to seeing you again really soon. Mwah!